So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you the first of a series, a little mini series that you guys have been wanting for quite some time. I did it back on FIFA 17 and you guys really seem to like it and basically what this, the, the premise of this series is is that we're going to be simming forward from the usual start point of a career mode save into future seasons. Today we're starting with 2020 because it's the first of the round numbers that comes after 2017 so this is obviously, I think this is the end of Season 3 is where we are at at the moment. I'm basically just going to be showing you what the world of football is like in FIFA 18 career mode at that point in the career mode save. So it's almost like an alternate universe. This is what could happen in the future of real life football if it was, well, if it was FIFA 18 is basically what I'm going to be, is what I'm going to be showing you. So I'll be going through some of the leagues, some of the main leagues uh, in Europe and across the world, also showing you some of the weirdest transfers that have happened and what the best players in the world are looking like. But if you want to enjoy the video, then slap a like on it and subscribe subscribe if you are new to the channel and I'm going to be doing plenty of these so make sure to leave your suggestions for things you would like to see down in the comments section but first of all looking at the Premier League and you can see that we've got Manchester United won this one in season three obviously I can't trace every single season but I can show you what life is actually like in 2020 Chelsea in second Leicester finishing up in P3 with Spurs City Liverpool and Arsenal filling out the rest of the top seven pretty much what you would expect it to be like really United having won the league on 80 points and it was Swansea, West Brom and Sunderland who got relegated. Uh, only one team from the championship actually got promoted to the Premier League and stayed there and that was Aston Villa. So in terms of teams it's looking very very similar um, but in terms of and in, really in terms of the way you'd expect the table to look it is pretty similar apart from Leicester getting up there. This is the championship in the background. Wolves winning that and dominating it by 21 points and getting promoted. Down the bottom half of the table as I said the rest of the table is pretty much as you'd expect apart from Hull and Middlesbrough being quite far down. Portsmouth though were in the championship having been in League 2 recently but unfortunately they got relegated in this season here in 2020. Over in France this is probably the biggest of the surprises so far Olympic Lyon actually won the league after the 38 game season they won the league in front of Paris Saint-Germain and Monaco then Nice in fourth position and the reason that's really a surprise is because PSG is such a good team on the game. Having I mean, signed Neymar and obviously Mbappe lot in, although he's only on loan on the game, that maybe is the reason why they struggled so much to win the league. But Lyon overtaking them is, is, is an interesting one. Not so much of a surprise over in Germany. Bayern Munich winning the league ahead of Borussia Dortmund and Wolfsburg with Schalke in P4. Leipzig have slipped quite a lot there down into P8. You might see why that is a little bit later on in this video with Nuremberg and Augsburg getting relegated. Over in Italy, again, pretty similar story as to what it's like at the moment in 2017. Really, only France and then Leicester have been the only surprises so far, although we will see a lot of surprises further into this video. Do not worry yourselves. But Juventus winning the Calcio A, or Serie A, as it's known in real life, by 12 points out of Napoli and Inter maybe making a bit of resurgence there in third position. Meanwhile, in Spain, Real Madrid won the battle against themselves with themselves and Barcelona, coming out on top of the La Liga on 94 points. Barcelona on 80 and then Atletico Madrid in P3, Villarreal, Athletic Bilbao and Sevilla rounding out the top six at a Real Sociedad and Valencia. Now though, this, this is the juicy part, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the juicy parts. We're now moving on to some of the players and some of the interesting signings that have happened. Riyad Mahrez has signed for Arsenal. I'm not going to lie to you. The five-star skiller, 84 overall at this point in career mode. He has signed for Arsenal from Leicester. So they've lost one of their best players, but still doing very well. This one, however, hurts me. Roberto Firmino has left my beloved Liverpool and at 85 overall is now playing for Real Madrid at 28 years of age. 85 overall playing for Real and so is this man Arcadius Milik has signed for for, from, for Real Madrid from Napoli and he's the same overall as well he's 85 so Real Madrid bringing in a, some very decent talent at the expense of Liverpool and Napoli respectively and generally speaking this is going to be the trend there's a lot of transfers here and potentially Real have brought in Milik and Firmino to replace this man Karim Benzema who now finds himself at PSG may I remind you this is literally only 2020 this is only three years into the future and all of this stuff has happened as well as this man Timo Werner this might be the reason why RB Leipzig are struggling he's 87 overall and he's gone to Barcelona and he's a ridiculous that's a ridiculous overall at 24 you can also see there he's got 99 sprint speed so this whole thing is back this was something that dominated the series back on FIFA 17 is that everyone had 99 on everything and Timo Werner has already got that at the age of 24 this though is one of the most interesting signings Mario Goetz are assigned for Leicester potentially one of the reasons they did so well in the Premier League. 
84 rating at this point in the career mode. Moving on to some of the best players uh, in the world right now and seeing how they've declined a little bit, Lionel Messi is now 32 years of age and is down to 89 overall from 93, so he's down by 3, and Cristiano Ronaldo has decreased even further, going down from 94 to 85, so that's minus 9 in the first 3 seasons of this save, he is now 35 years of age, is the Portuguese winger. And moving on to probably the most annoying and strange transfers of them all, Felipe Coutinho has signed for Tottenham. Now, out of this whole transfer saga of him wanting to go to Barcelona, he's decided, you know what, I'm upping sticks and I'm going to North London instead. Thankfully, Liverpool did bring in a replacement in this career mode save in the form of this man. Very interestingly, Thomas Lamar. I don't know if this is a script to transfer, because obviously this almost happened in real life. But the 88 overall Frenchman with ridiculous speed, etc., has signed for Liverpool to replace uh, Philippe, Coutinho, uh, Philippe Coutinho, even, there we go. And he's only one overall less. And keeping on the trend of transfers, you can see some of the craziest ones that happen in the transfer window right at the end of Season 3. Jerome Boateng going to Arsenal and Titi and Florenzi to Chelsea. Interestingly, Florenzi not even coming from Roma, coming from Leverkusen to Chelsea, which means he's already had two transfers in the first three seasons of this career mode save. You can see the rest of them there in the background, Marcelo swapping Real Madrid for Bayern. Nathaniel Klein has gone to Real Madrid via Leicester, so he's gone from Liverpool to Leicester, then to Real Madrid. Sergio Roberto has gone from Barca to West Brom and back to Barca again. There's some ridiculous transfers here. Irma toprak has gone to Spurs to replace Jan Vertonghen, who signed for Paris Saint-Germain. We've got El Yanusi going to Juventus, Ricardo Rodriguez is going to Manchester City, Ralph Farman going to Arsenal. There's some Honestly, this is this is a big thing in my opinion. There's so many more transfers that happen every season in career mode this year in comparison to last year. Th these are all transfers that have been done for over £20 million as well. These are all big transfers that have happened in one season. In one season alone. And they're f they're, a lot of them are involving players that have clearly signed for another team and then joined another team afterwards. So there's a lot of transfers going on. So this will be a much even more interesting series than the one last year because everybody's moving teams so frequently. We're going to look at some of the best teams in the game in a little bit more detail though. Here is Chelsea first of all. Uh, they've signed Alessandro Florenzi as you'll have seen. Kalidou Koulibaly as well has gone from Napoli to Chelsea. The rest of the side is, uh, so far is pretty much the same. Ricardo Pereira, 85 rated. He signed from OGC Nice. Antonio Rudiger you can see there and Marcel Schmelzer and Samuel Mtiti have all signed for Chelsea as well. Just proving my point. The amount of players that are signing for different teams is insane. Chelsea also signed Marcelo Brozovic, you can see there for 85, uh, as an 85 rated player, sorry, Kennedy and Godo Kante still playing, Kante now 90 rated in this career mode save, there's Casey Palmer and Charlie Muzonda Ivan Perisic has joined his fellow countryman Marcelo Brozovic at the clubs, so that's another high profile signing you can see the strikers wise, Chelsea have got Tammy Abraham, Michi Batshoi, Diego Costa they've also signed Felipe Anderson there's signings galore, Alvaro Morata there is 87 rated and Pedro and Willian complete the forwards there for Chelsea. Moving on to Liverpool, unfortunately Adam Bogdan still plays for the side but they've also got Loris Karius and Simon Mignolet still. Karius has gone up quite significantly but again look at this the first three players have all signed for the club in this save. Oscar De Marcos, Mattia De Siglio and Eric Dyer. On top of that they've also signed 87 rated Alejandro Grimaldo and Gianluca Itter from Wolfsburg and Jibril Sidibe, who you can see on the screen. This is just defenders from Liverpool. So many signings being made. That Turkish guy at the end was also a new signing. Bojan has joined Liverpool. This is all in three seasons. Emre Chan up to 85. Jordan Henderson is now an 84 rated player. And Adam Lallana is 81. We've already seen that Thomas Lamar has joined the club. He's 88 rating at this point in the career mode save. If there's any players that are fully scouted that you want to stop on for a moment, then do feel free to let me know. Uh, sorry, to, do feel free to let me know. I was thinking of some else in my head do feel free to pause the video and do feel free to let me know if there's any other clubs and players that you want me to look at tell me in the comment section what you want me to look at in this career mode save and I'll bring you another one because I'm planning to do three videos really at least in each season so if there's any teams you want me to look at look at sorry any players you want me to look at anything like that any leagues you want me to look at then let me know down in the comment section I'll do that for the next episode moving on to Manchester City now after we saw Liverpool who'd also signed Mario Riccardi Juan Bernat and Andreas Christensen have, all, have both joined Manchester City, along with Polish centre-back Kamil Glick from Monaco. So again, signings left, right and centre for Manchester City as well. We've also brought in that Polish guy, Sergei Petrov. 
Gerard Piquet is also, it, I mean, it just, it's never ending. I, it, like, just imagine what this is going to be like in 2030. Nobody's going to be playing for the team they started at. It's, it's quite incredible. Thiago Silva as well, you may have noticed, has also signed for Manchester City, so it's utter carnage, quite frankly. Kevin De Bruyne is now 91. We've got the rest of the youngsters here for City. Ilkay Gundogan is still playing for Manchester City, and they've also brought in Koke from Atletico Madrid. Uh, Bernardo Silva is now 90 rating. I'll probably show you him in a little bit more detail next episode. In terms of declining players, you can see Yaya Torre there is now 76 ratings. He's gone down massively. And in terms of forwards, City have got them literally coming out of their ears. Sergio Aguero and Gabriel Jesus both 89, and then Leroy Sane and Raheem Sterling both 87. Moving on to the final two player, uh, final two teams, sorry, in this video, we've got Barcelona and Real Madrid with Barca coming up first. Who have signed Vilca Farinez, who was involved in the Hidden Gems video. If you haven't seen that one, it's a tips video. You can check out a link in the top right of the screen that will take you to that video. He was the number one hidden gem in that video. But Barcelona have also signed Lucas Piszczek and Marvin Plattenhart. You can see there Sergio Roberto, who clearly went on some sort of weird loan deal to West Brom and then came back. Nelson Semedo is now 86. And they've also signed Jonathan Tarr, who's 85 rated in the save of Barcelona. Um, some, new, some other new signings include Christian Nkunku there down at the bottom of the screen. Andre Gomez is 88 rated at 26. And Sergio Busquets was just above him. He is 85 rated. Seeing some of the first regens here as well, that's Edward Ajede Saranova, um, that black dude there, 19 years of age. We're not seeing many regens at the moment because obviously we're only three seasons in. Dennis Suarez there with a ridiculous overall and Arda Turan down to 78. Usman Dembele there is 88 rated. You'll see him in a little bit more detail next episode. Luis Suarez as well there down to 86 and we had already seen the decline for, uh, for Lionel Messi earlier on. Now moving on to the final of the team We've got Real Madrid here, who have signed Kevin Trapp from PSG to accompany the two very good goalkeepers they've already got, so massive competition there. In terms of right-backs, of course, they've signed Nathaniel Klein as well, who's 84 rated, but they've already got Daniel Carvajal, who's 87, and they've also signed Baba uh, Rahman as well from Chelsea, as well as Dujon Sterling, apparently, and Socrates. It's just, it's impossible to keep up with the amount of transfers that are going on here. Rafael Varane is now up to a 90 rating, Asensio is now up to 91, and they've also signed Young highly rated Julian Brandt of, well, Bayer Leverkusen in real life. He's 85 rating. Casemiro up to an 89 at his full potential. Same for Isco. Those those guys both at 28 years of age. In ridiculous amounts of depth and quality in this central midfield for Real Madrid. We've also got Toni Kroos, Matteo Kovacic, Luka Modric and James Rodriguez, as well as highly rated Uruguayan Federico Valverde who's coming from uh, Deportivo La Coruña. And going forward, we've already seen that Real have a lot of options in the form of Milik and Firmino who are new signings as well as Gareth Bale and Cristiano Ronaldo as well. But after a breathless 13 minutes of this video we are basically done. I wanted it to be quite chill but in the end I've ended up talking with a ridiculous motor mouth because of the amount of stuff that's actually happened in the first three seasons of this career mode save. I don't quite know how so much has happened in terms of transfers and teams changing in terms of how good and bad they are. It's astonishing so I don't know how this is going to go in, in 2030 but we've got a long way to go before we get there. If you do want to see certain things though for the next episode of Career Mode in 2020 here on FIFA 18, then make sure to let me know in the comments section. And if you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to slap a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Every like and subscription really helps me out, so I do really appreciate it. If you did enjoy, to go ahead and do both of those things. You can also now follow me on Twitter as well. My handle is on the screen. It is at the official FNG, and that is the same handle over on Instagram at the official FNG there. And links to both of those sites are in the description below. But apart from that, it has been an absolute pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. Yo, I roll out with some monsters, looks like your team and you watches. I do not roll with imposters, sound like the man in the Oscars. I'm drunk of Henry and Foster's, I have a career, I am jobless. This bitch have f***ed me so hard, I might just end up unconscious. I like girls in lingerie, especially if it is crushes. Bitch, I am the bigger picture, there is no way you can crop us.